So Beachfront's unified decisioning technology really is all about two main things. Uh, first and foremost on the monetization side, that's one of the big pillars of what we bring to, bring to bear there. Um, it's really about flattening the auction for, for publishers and programmers, kind of getting rid of the old school waterfall, just like you saw happen in, in display and then in all the, uh, you know, driving more competition for each and every impression and, um, you know, really elevating the yield through that. Uh, so, so that's really one big piece of it. Secondly, uh, the value is also just uh, having a tech that respects the tenets of TV overall, right? And what that means is from a, from a business rule standpoint, thinking about the ad pod itself, uh, deduplication, competitive separation of ads, making sure everything's working the way it should so that you can keep that experience really clean uh, uh, and, and kind of similar to your broadcast um, user experience. All right, great. So uh, there is often this perceived trade-off between achieving revenue objectives and delivering a high-quality viewer ad experience. Is that necessary? Is that the case? And how can publishers achieve both? Yeah, I think they can definitely coexist. I mean, I, I think it's a shame when, when people think, you know, beating people over the head with more heavier ad load or more ads is the only real way to kind of drive revenue up. I think there are a lot more sophisticated ways to accomplish that. Uh, you know, if you think about it, um, you know, it starts with kind of your, your tech stack, who, who you're using to deploy those, those um, technologies and making sure they've got the flexibility to be able to optimize for things like revenue per second, uh, you know, so that you're not just choosing uh, a winner of an auction off of kind of old school methodologies, um, looking at the way you construct the ad pod itself so that you can uh, flag, you know, which slot someone's buying, uh, squeeze every ounce out of it. And I think there are, there's a lot of juice to be squeezed uh, from from things in that realm that, that really aren't that kind of commonplace yet and still are being, I think, explored by programmers. So there, there's a lot of room left to run on the revenue side. And, and just when it comes to balancing it with user experience, uh, being able to have the tools at your disposal to have analytics around things like the di frequency distribution, uh, how often is an ad showing to certain audiences and certain programs, having data to arm yourself with as a content owner is huge. Uh, it's something we've spent a lot of time on at Beachfront so that um, you, know, you can almost provide uh, suggestions to, to content owners to say, you know, here's something that you might want to explore, put some KPIs around, around um, some of these UX things that are important to you. All right, great. Now, uh, what, what do you think the CTV side of the business can learn from the legacy linear practices to improve viewer experience, as you're saying? Yeah, I think we can learn a heck of a lot from, from linear. Uh, you know, not only has it been around for decades doing things this way and it's kind of set the bar, right, the standard for, for the way, um, you know, uh, what, what users expect. When you're sitting at home on the couch looking uh, at that device, uh, the big screen on your wall, no one cares if it's a streaming experience or a, or a traditional linear experience. They just know it should be clean and, and pristine. And so, um, you know, as an industry, uh, you know, on the connected side, we have to draw from that. Um, linear's always been really kind of curated, recognizable brands, you know, a bug free uh, ecosystem if you think about it that way and, and, and that's the place we need to get to so I think all of that um, is, is sort of you know what we're striving toward and connected and um, you know at the end of the day there probably is more upside if you think about you know coming from where we are in, in the CTV realm because uh, we do have more ability to target so once we, we figure out some of these other issues you know there's more upside and, and maybe yield because it's you know, we can get creatives down to a finer audience, which brands will pay a bit more for. Um, you know, there, there's, um, there are other things we can do really, really well there. So it's, it's, a, it's a push and pull, and I think uh, we've made a lot of progress. Good news is the technology is there to um, you know, solve for some of the things that we've uh, you know, seen in speed bumps up to date. So we keep hearing about the importance of metadata in CTV uh, bid requests. So, what steps can the industry should we should the industry take to get closer to? Yeah, this is a this is a fun one. Um, I I'm kind of passionate about about this because it's all about sending signals to the buy side properly and, and having a clear understanding uh, for them about what they're looking to transact on. And it's it's super important. I think it's it doesn't get a lot of attention because it's not super sexy, but uh, it's really important that we're doing this for the health of the industry and kind of trying to promote. Uh, 
uh, standards. Uh, you know, standards at the end of the day, you know, we talk a lot about it, whether it's on the measurement side or um, in other ways like this. And, and, and signals from metadata is just one piece of it, but it's a good example. Uh, things like genre don't get used. If we look at our marketplace and the beachfront marketplace, it's probably less than half the time the genre gets passed through upon the CTV request, which is kind of crazy. But there's a standard for it in the IAB spec. However, the taxonomy is not really tight, right? So you can have sports content, uh, you know, genre as sports. Uh, someone can pass it through that way, or they can pass it through as football or sports ball or whatever they want. It's kind of a wild west. And I just don't think, uh, you know, we've gotten to that point yet where, where anyone sees the value in it because the buy side says we can't make sense of it. The sell side says, well, the buy side isn't making sense of it. We, it's, it's a clear case for protocols. Um, and that's just on the digital side. Never mind if you look over to the traditional TV side. They've got their own standard. And I think as far as recommendations, we probably need, we all need to get our act together and look a little bit toward traditional TV there. That's where the dollars are coming from for a lot of this stuff long term. So, you know, let's, let's pay a little bit more attention to the bigger picture. Uh, let's try to push those standards forward. Let's see if we can get the existing, uh, you know, industry consortiums, IAB and whomever to, to kind of, um, you know, push the envelope a little bit more. And I think agencies at the end of the day holding the dollars, if they demand this stuff, it'll probably be more likely to happen. So.